tan colored one is like almost one. finished. The M4A4, A2, <coughs> FL10 hybrid, whatever you want to call it. Um, for basic finishing, I got to put the headlights on, and then I can legitimately call it done. But I'm also going to put stowage on it. Should be done next time you guys see it at the meeting. Um, it was my first attempt at the wonderful hairspray technique. You Did guys you like ever it? try it? Did you like and it? You do it on our, yeah, it was neat. Yeah. I messed up, but yeah, uh, to my it. advantage, the mess ups are fine. It probably would have been <laughs> disastrous on, say, a car model or something like that. What happened was everyone basically is saying you were wrong, but um, <laughs> no. Everything I've Will's done. first comment was that it should have been a gloss. I didn't do that. Uh, everything I read just made said put a protecting coat over the base finish. Right. Yeah, but who listens to Will? And well, I, 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 was, I was going with that, but it, like I said, after I posted on three or four different forums, they're saying it was drying time. Now, after listening to people, we all have different, each one of those has got 24 hours of drying time before I did anything with it. What happened was when I threw the acrylic on, in three or four places it started cracking. Again, armor kit, not that big of a deal, it just helped, but I wasn't expecting that. If you do it on an armor kit, I would leave off as much small things that, example, my BI looks way too thick, the handles and everything. Right. You're looking at four to five coats of paint. It, they, I noticed it, maybe nobody else will, but um, it didn't look too bad on the photo etch and some of the other parts, but for some reason to me it stuck out real bad on the Pioneer tools. But it was fun, and I don't usually do weathered vehicles or high, what do you call it besides weathering? Is it just weathering? <laughs> Damage or whatever? I don't usually do that. Um, yeah, we so, know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the Israelis, no matter how much people say may have not cared, I've got, I've never seen a badly weathered, badly damaged Israeli armored vehicle other than the 1948 war. Actually, when they well, really didn't care and everything was cobbled together. So you get out of the Middle East. Outside well, the Egypt, you Syria, get, completely different. Yeah. That's why I didn't yeah, you mind get out of trying the East, this. Everybody else takes care of their equipment. Um, it's like I said, uh, Will's doing his T-55, but I've got a great picture in a photo that shows basically... Bare metal everywhere. Yeah, it really, really is. Aluminum and the shot is taken from the guy on the fender taking it, and this whole top cupola is bare metal. That's how little the yeah. Lebanese forces care about their equipment. So, they got no money. These, I, I agree. That's what I'm saying. The Israelis, I've never seen, other than scrapyard yeah. vehicles and the first 1948 War for Independence, a bad looking Israeli vehicle like a lot of these people portray. So, mm -hmm. well, I'm going to do it on a Lebanese M60 one day. And they're just they're a bad problem. No, yeah, they've just got them like five years ago. And they're probably in surplus. Here you go. Crap shit. Uh, the next one is my continuing work of the 1965 circa. French sold 100 M4A1s to Israel, and like I said, France sold or Franco? France. Okay. France. Is Frank sold. Um, still waiting for Steve Reed to come up with my last two set of wheels, and then I'll have six different complete bogies wheels on on that baby. And I work on it during lunch, so it gets an hour a day basically. Don't even work on it on the weekend. So, what's the base kit? Uh, it started. The hull is a. Operation Cobra M4A1. The turret came from the Thunderbolt kit, also Dragon. The dark green is Tasca. I think that's all I got on there right now, besides the brass antenna, which is Lion Mark or Aver, I don't remember who. The bogies will be right. everybody. And then the wheels themselves will be just about everybody. I got Shapeways, I got Celtic Works, I got ResiCast. I got formations, shapeways, and Celtic, no, not Celtic works, click to detail. And the reason it's on a eraser, mm -hmm. something I found out about Dragon and now I know why, that tow hook at the back sits below the hull. So if I set it on its belly, I'm suddenly going to snap that tow hook piece off. So when I'm at work, I got a 5 8 hex bolt that it sits on so I can work on it right instead of always putting it upside down um, and again it's it's dragon even though it's one of their older kits it is still better than Tobias sorry <laughs> their M1 Sherman and their M51 Sherman 
Like I said, when I brought it last month, no photo etch whatsoever, which means you've got to come up with photo etch for your area takes, and you have to have it. It can't take three hours to build it. I don't care. It's, I'm sorry. The browser boxes have wire mesh on them. Either you make it yourself or wait, buy the Dragon kit that has it included. Uh, the only reason I used the barrel mount off of the Tasca kit was because my Dragon one, I think, was misshot. Didn't really want to because that was a spare I would have liked to have kept, but the Dragon one was such a mess and I didn't have a decent spare. It was just easier to pull it off of the Tasca kit. And again, neat thing about Tasca, I've come to find out, even though it's expensive, <laughs> You're like Tamiya, you make a, well, you don't make a phone call. You go on the <laughs> internet and you can order whole sprues. Problem is, your sprue costs four bucks, Shipping. 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks. <laughs> so if you're going to buy Tasca sprues, buy a few to make it worth the 20 bucks worth of shipping. And, and I usually do. The problem is, Tasca's sprues are hit and miss on what they have. Uh, I guess Asuka, who's now bought them, does runs of kits. So if I check it every day, and it's funny how you'll see one whole page of in stock, the very next day, three quarters of it's already gone. And you won't see it refilled until they make another run of whatever kit they're gonna release, so.